Hello everyone! This is Pauksh the Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. Today we continue working with a pattern for a dress with the flounces. Last time I showed you how to make a pattern for the upper part of the dress. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pattern for a skirt and the two flounces. The lower detail should be cut down from the tuck tops. I remind you that I'm going to move the tucks open into the flare. This is a very useful technique for making the flared skirt. I don't want you to make mistakes, so I'm going to show you how to cut the details of fabric. The flare is going to be very beautiful. It's written here that this is the center front and there should be a fold here. I also need to write it down that the center front should be cut on the grain. This is very important. The center front should be cut on the grain and this part will be flared. Next, I need to close the tuck opening in the back detail as well. Notice that the center back isn't straight. The lower part of it should be cut on the grain. The center back is of that shape for the skirt to fit the body better. The lower details at the back and the front are ready. And so are the upper details. I've also measured the neckline for making the flounce. Next, I need to measure the flounce at the bottom. The gather coefficient for the bottom flare will be 1.7. The width at the bottom is... The back is 26 cm wide. And the front 27 cm wide. That makes 53 cm in total. This is one half of the width at the bottom. The full measurement is 106 cm. I write it down right in the pattern. I recommend writing such things right in the patterns. It's very convenient to work this way. One half of the measurement is 53 cm, so the full measurement is 106 cm. As I've already said, the gather coefficient at the bottom flare will be 1.7. 106 cm multiplied by 1.7 is 180 cm. I think that this is the best way for making the flounces. If you multiply the measurement for 2, the gather will be too wide. If you multiply it for 1.5, it won't be beautiful either. I think that the coefficient 1.7 is perfect. Measure the width at the bottom and multiply the measurement by 1.7. In our case, the flounce will be 180 cm wide. I want to write it down here. The flounce should be 22 cm long and 180 cm wide. Once again, measure the width at the bottom. Multiply the measurement by 1.7 and write the measurement down. Now I know that the flounce will be 22 cm long and 180 cm wide. It won't be hard to cut it. Let's get back to the upper flounce. The full neckline measurement is 72 cm. That means that 72 should be multiplied by 1.7. 72 cm multiplied by 1.7 is 122.5 cm. I think that 125 cm would be ok. One half of the measurement is 63 cm. That means that I need to cut the two details 63 cm wide each. Next, I'm going to show you how to make a flounce. I need to cut a rectangular detail. It should be 22 cm long and 63 cm wide. I 
I'll make it 65 centimeters wide. If I was sewing a dress off the camera, I wouldn't have made the patterns for the flounces. I don't want you to have any questions left. So I'm showing you everything very thoroughly. This is the pattern for the upper flounce. I want it to be very beautiful. I remind you that it's going to be flared. I need to fold the pattern in half and mark the center of the detail. I did it just for me to have less questions when cutting. Next, I need to make 5 cuts on each side of the fold. Don't cut the detail through. Make sure that you stop cutting a bit before the edge. This is how the flounce is going to look like. I remind you that the flounce at the bottom will be straight. Have a close look at the pattern for the upper flounce. I'm not going to cut a whole piece better. I'm not even going to fix this one the way it is now. I'll just lay it on the fabric for cutting absolutely the same way. The pattern for the upper flounce is ready. We also know how the lower flounce is going to look like. It will be 22 cm long and 180 cm wide. These are the patterns for the bodies and the skirt. This is how they look like now. That's it. The patterns are ready. I want you to understand that it's very important to work with the patterns accurately. If you make accurate patterns, you won't have any problems when cutting and taking. I prefer to sew and wear accurate, high-quality garments. I want you to stick to that rule as well. Remember that practice makes perfect. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. I'm working really hard to make it come true. My name is Pauksh Irina. Subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press like and the bell buttons. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.